Hi, how are you doing? I'm good, man. How are you doing? Not too bad. <laughs> I got, I got an exciting ride for us today, Xi. What you say? Ah, uh, dude, we need to meet up. Is it a tight ride? Ah, it's a tight item, Xi. <laughs> I'm in it, Xi. I'm, I'm loving this car, dude. Right. Okay. Give me ten minutes. I'll be there just now. Awesome, bro. Cool. <laughs> Here we go. Hey man, how are you doing? My word. It's a beaut, isn't it? It's a beaut. We need to review this thing. We need to review it. Join me in a second. Yep. <laughs> Bro, look at this thing. Now, I love this car, Baba. <laughs> I love this vehicle. It's a beaut, dude. In fact, it's a beaut. Man, we need to review this for people to see why I love this car. Now, you should understand that this, this is the car. The Mbingares, if you want to call it a, a female car. If you want to call it for, for girls, but for the girls, it's quite, quite amazing. For the guys, it's got that oomph that you can feel, that you can say, yeah, I've arrived. We're talking about class here. Look at the back lights. These are LED lights, and it's amazing. Look at it, carbon fiber um, spoiler there. Just from the back, we haven't even started looking at, at the front. Just from the back there, oh, it's a beauty. The iconic Mercedes emblem just gives you that feeling that you are in a proper, decent mm -hmm. uh, Mercedes-Benz. Now, just not just that. You talked about uh, uh, the amazing lights. And you say, look at the lines, the slick lines. Mm -hmm. If you bump into this and you, you, you can't take it to Gaza, mm -hmm. you can't take it to some place where they're just doing some funny items, you have to import the whole door. Yeah. This is pure class. This is the kind of car that you want to drive. This is the kind of car that says, I'm expensive. I'm worth it. But looking at the whole car, maybe if you come this side, Mungu. Oh, oh, oh. Look at this thing. That pretty much looks good. That pretty much says this is a, some sort of sports car, some sort of hybrid, somewhere in between. Is it a big car? Is it a sports car? Is it a small car? These tires um, are run flats and uh, you can go up to 80 kilometers uh, where, if you do encounter a puncture uh, before you can actually change Hence, them. This car comes out with no extra tire, spare. There's no spare tire for this vehicle. Look, we're, they're saying something happens to you, the tire, no matter what condition it is in, it will get you to your next point so you can get a change. That's how they, 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 they value their tires. Mercedes seem to think about you, seem to understand you. And they definitely do understand me when we're talking about this. Mungu, you know I'm in love with this, the shoulder. Look at it. It says I'm a big guy. It says I'm tough. It's all brawl. It looks like somebody just went and had five hours of gym time and came out with divisions. Look at it. This thing is poised. It looks quite assertive, uh, but it also looks cute. It's quite a lovely, cute little vehicle in a big range. Exactly. It, it doesn't do much to, to, to express some sort of aggressiveness. Yeah. You can like it as a dude. I like it. It is quite, with, obviously, with the turning uh, indicators on the turn light, the chrome finishings on the door handles. We're talking about something that uh, is generally crying out, drive me, look expensive. That's what it's saying. Another thing. You would think that the sloping roof here would do a lot of damage in terms of headroom in this car. We're gonna look at the interior, but I can assure you that there is enough room here uh, for about three people in the back. It I don't does know what not they affect were trying to do though. I don't know what they were trying to do though. I, I'm, 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 I'm like off in terms of why they would do that. Why it is, but it's aerodynamics, I'm sure. It's aerodynamics and also they wanted to bring out that sporty feel to the SUV. Yeah. Remember, sport utility vehicle. And they definitely want this to look as sporty as, 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 as it possibly can. It's a lovely car. The sidestep? It's not a big car. We reviewed uh, the Land Cruiser yeah, L200 the uh, recently yeah. and it had the sidestep. 
Yeah. That 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 was necessary because you know when you want to get into the car. Yeah. But this one is not a big car. When you open but the door, you really don't need. But one would feel that you don't really need it. Yeah, yeah you, don't, you, don't you don't really need, need it. it. But yeah, it's for some people. Maybe they do. Yeah, but for the kids for and the, the elderly and they want to get in, into the back. That's another point. Mm? Not many kids can fit into this car. <laughs> not many kids will fit. <laughs> it's not the Land Cruiser, is it? It's not the Land it's Cruiser. It's not the Land Cruiser, but. All the same, sport utility vehicle. I think Mercedes came out with this car mm -hmm. uh, because there was competition. Mm -hmm. um, you remember the Audi Q5, mm -hmm. uh, the BMW X3 was selling like hotcakes. Exactly. So Mercedes-Benz wanted to get into that market, wanted to sell this thing. Mm -hmm. So they decided, okay, we're going to come up with our own coupe. And that's their competition. Exactly. I like looking at it on the side profile, mm. but we need to look at the grill. We need to look at the face. What does this look thing? like? Exactly. Oh, oh. Now this is the major selling point for me. Yeah. I mean, the moment that you put this thing here, the badge, you know it's quality, and they reimagined the whole grill. Yeah, sixteen teeth on it, <laughs> and saying, "I'm ready to eat some air, <laughs> eat some speed." <laughs> it basically is growling. Yeah, it basically is growling. And like we said before, this thing is imposing without being too aggressive. Exactly. And it does. And again, these lines here just bring it out. Just bring it out. Made for aerodynamics. aerodynamics. Yeah. It's a beaut. Not only that, uh, Manyenga. Mm. You look at it, it's got LED turn lights, LED flashing lights for uh, all sort of conditions, mm -hmm. uh, which says it's going to be visible. And the light is quite okay. I mean, I've seen it uh, during the night. It's got a really good range in terms of making sure that the oncoming traffic is not blinded by, by, the, by, by the light. And it's quite, you can actually see quite well on the road, especially on our small Zimbabwean roads, sometimes not so good, sometimes good, but still well, not well lit, especially within the highway. Especially in the highway, and not only in the highway, probably in the CBD as well. These are fake grills on... <laughs> fake air intakes. Exactly. <laughs> However, it does make the car quite a looker, especially mm. in the front of you. Yes, and let's not forget, it's got also got our front sensors uh, that will assist the driver uh, when it comes to um, a vehicle detection or auto braking system. Mm -hmm. It's got sensors all around uh, the Attention front. Attention to detail. Mm -hmm. That's something that Mercedes have always done. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look closely uh, into this Manyenga, mm -hmm. into, the, into the headlight, the crest Mercedes Benz is embedded in there, meaning you can't replace this uh, <laughs> with, with a funny. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go to a dealer exactly. to replace this thing. Yeah. Quality. That's what it exudes. And you know that Mercedes Benz is mm. going to give you quality. In fact, let's take a look at the heart of this machine. The engine. How this car performs. We need to see how this thing moves. We need to see how this thing performs. I'm quite excited. Uh, so you're driving? Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, how come I can't drive? I love this car. <laughs> yeah, but let's, ta let's talk about it. I want to drive first. Mungu? Mungu? Are you coming? Mungu, yeah. how does it feel like to drive this thing? It feels light, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good drive, you can actually feel uh, in terms of all the wheels, the four wheels, you can actually feel that all of them are actually doing exactly uh, what you want them to do. It's a smooth uh, steering wheel which basically 
is made for anybody to drive this is quite a very easy car to drive but at the same time it just you feel like you're driving an expensive vehicle you feel like you're driving a, a, the kind of vehicle that everyone is looking at and saying wow i wish i was driving that car as a passenger i'd, I'd say that it's really quite comfortable with the well, with the seats here yeah, they're buckety they kind yeah. of hug you a bit so it, it is uh, comfortable uh, you've got a dual climate zone yeah um, and you don't like the cold so yeah this is really good for us if we're going for long distances exactly don't forget this eh? ah sunroof what's that awesome isn't it <laughs> how do you uh, open can you, uh, open can you open the sunroof okay let's open the sunroof here there we go maximum light in there how do you like that <laughs> it's yeah. awesome you can tilt it as well so exactly just discovered it right eh? <laughs> you can move it tilt it as well up this down. lower part here you'll have to do it uh, manually that's how it is it's a good car That on this drive, if the surface is smooth, it yeah. is an amazing ride. Yeah, it's not an off road car, it can go off road, but it's not an off road car. Uh, you're abusing it. This is a city car, mm -hmm. you drive it to work, you drive it to parties, mm -hmm. and you drive it for fun, and you drive it to places where you know you want to be seen. Yes, for for the purpose it is made for, this is quite a nice car. It is. The ride height is yeah. really good. It's a city good. car. Yeah. I mean, when you're driving in the city, you can actually, you've got a good view of it. Yeah. It's almost like you've got um, control over what's happening around you. Exactly. We'll, we'll then take a review in terms of what does the center console look like. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you from a driving position, it's, it's, it's made in a way that it's a cockpit. I mean, it's telling you everything. It's telling you its diagnosis. It's telling you uh, the temperature. It's telling you in, in, in a digital format. It's telling you uh, in terms of how much uh, speed you're going at, both digitally and analog, and and all of that, which is quite nice. Yeah, it is. But the amazing thing is that the the, the, the gear dial. Now you know the automatic gear dial. It's quite different. We're used to like changing it uh, on the side. Mm -hmm. This one here is by here by the steering wheel, whereby you just have to tap, tap, tap and uh, change uh, the gear that you want to uh, move at. Of course, uh, it, is, it does take a while for you to get used to the new system if you are going to be, if you're using the other, the other system. You mean it did take you a bit of time to get used to it? it, it yeah, it has taken me a while. Because <laughs> <laughs> now I'm looking here and I can't see. <laughs> he keeps looking down yeah. here. <laughs> he keeps looking at yeah, it. It's ridiculous. It's right next to you. It's, it's right next to us, and it's quite. But it's quite seamless. It's quite really nice. Yeah. Uh, it's the kind kind that you really don't feel like you're actually doing any work. I, I think you can see now with the way the camera is shaking that we're yeah. over really uneven surfaces. Yeah. And the suspension does. The suspension is really firm. Because you feel everything. Yeah, you feel every bump. Yeah, but they're not painful bumps. They're, they're, they're not. They're just discomfortable uncomfortable okay uh, you, you know what um, I think that can be overturned by the fact that these seats are really soft and comfortable yeah they are mm -hmm. heated seats right now Manyanga in terms of uh, the drives we've done so far I'm sure uh, we in the later episodes we would want to then uh, go into the smaller, more affordable vehicles, just check out that. I mean, these are the nice cars, these are top-end cars, but we want to also review uh, the smaller, uh, cheaper vehicles that we yeah, can get that, on the that market. Is, that is true, and we have had feedback from you as to which vehicles we need. We are looking into that, and yeah. we definitely would do that. Let's take a look at what is happening in the interior. And I can tell you that uh, the moment that you sit in this car, there's a certain aura that just, or a vibe that you just get just by sitting in this car. Maybe it's because it's a, it's a Mercedes Benz. 
maybe. But seated here, you really feel comfortable. The seats kind of hug you. The steering wheel in the right position. And there are a lot of adjustments that come with this steering wheel. And the good part is that they're electronic. Up and down, towards you and inside. It all depends on how you feel your steering wheel should be. And you also have adjustments here on the door. I, I know most vehicles will have their seat adjustment right next to the seat here at the bottom here. But Mercedes said, mm, that might just distract the driver when he's, uh, when he's on his way. But let's put them on the door so you can adjust your seat from here, which is interesting. Also, you've got heated seats and you've got three levels of heated seats. One, two, and three. Awesome, isn't it? It would work in June. It will definitely work for me in June because I'm not a big fan of the cold. Also on the steering wheel, you've got buttons here that uh, control your infotainment system. Uh, you've got your home button, you can control the volume. Uh, remember, this uh, infotainment system also comes uh, with voice command, so that's great. We'll move on to how this thing feels. It is, is the quality up to point? Because this is a Mercedes-Benz and the quality has to be on point. Feel these materials right here. They're soft touch materials almost everywhere. The only place that you'll probably find uh, scratchy material is the center console. Now, if you look at the center console, you almost think that it's, it's made of wood. No, it's actually plastic. But they did a very good job with it because it actually looks like it's, it's wood. It's amazing. Let's look at the storage uh, in this car. You've got this storage over here where you can put your cups, your drinks on your way uh, to a long drive or, or on your way to work and it's a cold day. You probably have your coffee. Uh, you can actually put your bottles over here and you've got a 12 volt output here, a place to put your phone if you feel like it. You also have very good um, side door bins. They're very large. You can put a large bottle over there. Uh, your glove box is really big. You can put a really big book in it. No problem. Mercedes have thought about almost everything in this car. If I was to choose this from any other car, BMW X3, Audi Q5, I'd probably choose this car. Yes, granted, those three cars have got their perks, but being in a Mercedes, it hits different. It does. The side rear view mirrors, they can be controlled from the door as well. Just like your seats, just like your heated seats. They've thought about everything for the driver. It has to be accessible. But one thing that I don't like about this car is the screen. This thing looks tiny. It is a tiny thing and it is hard for you to get your information here. If they could make this screen a bit bigger, I'd be happy. But in terms of the quality of the picture, it's good. It's HD. We're talking about quality here. Yeah. But you have your navigation, you have the control of the radio, media, telephone, as well as the functions of the, of the vehicle. You can uh, adjust your uh, temperature in here, your climate control, it's also in here. You can change your vehicle settings to dynamic. Uh, you can check your information in terms of consumption. You've also got your owner's uh, manual, your time, your vehicle settings. All your information is there. But if you're driving and, this button and um, controlling this uh, dial here is a bit of a problem for you, then you always have these buttons. You've got your shortcut for navigation, radio, media, telephone, as well as your hazards there. You can also control your um, climate control with these buttons over here. You can actually change your drive terrain with this car. You can actually change, um, you've got your traction control that is over here. You've got your park assist when you want to park. I did mention that it has cameras at the back. Uh, it also has sensors. It does give you a jolt, uh, the moment, and a bit of a beep, the moment something just moves in front of your car or at the back of your car if you're driving back. So my camera guy is uh, uh, blocking my way here. <laughs> and he, Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> you can hear that beeping sound there. That's a car warning me that there's actually an, an object behind me. So. Yeah, that's part of the driver safety uh, package that comes with this car. These sensors are also in the front. So in terms of safety, Mercedes-Benz have thought about it as well. The instrument cluster, it's both digital and analog. All the information that you need as a driver on your way is right here and accessible for you, which is a plus for Mercedes. 
not only did we notice along the road that this thing can drive well, although, yeah, around potholes it could be a really difficult um, in here, uh, noting the suspension and all, but these seats here made it worthwhile. Another thing that, uh, you, you, that, that you probably like is this little thing over here. It's got a sunroof. Lots of light if you're driving and if it's a hot day, you can open it up, let some air in. Talking about air, the air conditioning system in here is magnifique. It's got dual climate zone. So Mungu and me going for a long drive, we won't be hustling on uh, what the temperature would be because the guy is fussy over how comfortable he is in the car. That's a look at the cockpit and the front. Let's look at what is happening at the back. I'm here at the back. Not as comfortable as uh, the front for the passenger here. But there's enough room to fit three people, albeit just about. The amount of space that you have, uh, this seat is adjusted to my driving position. And as you can see, there's a lot of space between my knees and the seat here. There's a lot of space as well to put your feet underneath the, the seat here for long drives. That would help. Uh, you don't really want to travel like this because you, your knees are really, <laughs> really close to your chest and it becomes really uncomfortable and bad for your back. And I know a bit about uh, bad backs. At the back, you would think that the sloping roof would um, affect the headroom. It doesn't. I'm not exactly a short person, but there's enough headroom there. But I bet you if there were three people seated here, this would be a problem. They've made this a, a whole lot bulky. So if there are three people seated across here, you might have to tra travel with your head stuck against uh, the side of the door there. That's uh, probably my issue. The windows at the back here are really small. So if you have small children here, I know children really love when, they dri when you're driving, they really love looking outside. It's not really that visible for, for small children. I would have preferred it to have a bigger window at the back here but uh, talking about children you also have isoface fix here you can actually put uh, uh, two uh, child seats right at the back here you can really get comfortable here for long drives provided there are only two people sitting at the back maybe the one thing that i don't like about this car is that you can't adjust your temperature whilst you sit at the back you can adjust the uh, the airflow but not really the temperature and uh, that is a reserve of the passenger the front passenger and the and the driver now this is how you open the boot awesome isn't it helps you when you are carrying a lot of luggage actually you no know, because the boot space is about uh, 550 liters that's uh, enough and sufficient space uh, for your staff now if you want more space the capacity increases uh, when you drop the back seats that's creating 1600 liters uh, to be exact now there's no spare wheel so that means that there's more space underneath you also have a 12 volt power supply right there and teetering points awesome car this yes. is it's a brilliant mercedes-benz have outdone themselves in mm. terms of look you want a big car but you want a small car so you get this <laughs> yeah a glc yeah. coupe brilliant. now We've, we've tested this car mm -hmm. and uh, the performance is amazing, especially noting that it is a diesel. It feels great, handles mm -hmm. fantastic, mm -hmm. it's got a lot of safety features. It's the kind of car that you say, look, I'm safe, but I feel expensive in it. Mm -hmm. So it's a great vehicle. I think it's okay. It's a thumbs up from me. It's a thumbs up for me, but where do you get this? I hear, of course, it's Panjab. Panjab Motors and they're along Robert Mugabe and that is just after the intersection between Robert Mugabe and uh, Chiremba Road. You will find them there and you will find this sweet vehicle there as well. Yep, you will find it there mm. but you find us here on ZBC TV and we're saying get hold of us. We mm -hmm. want to hear from you. WhatsApp, Facebook. We want to know what you think so that we can incorporate it mm -hmm. into the show. Mm -hmm. Mugaris is your show. Mm. It's Mugaris. That's why it's a Zimbabwean show mm. about Zimbabweans driving these cars. Mm. Yes, and uh, we value your comments. Uh, tell us what we're doing right, what we're doing wrong, uh, so that we can correct ourselves, eh? Definitely. Because mm. you are important to us. Exactly, and are uh, we about to go? Yep. Uh, the you numbers, get the car, eh? The, wh <laughs> why would I get the car? Wait, Mungu, where are you going? What are we going to do about the... Mungu! Mungu! <laughs>